All right, so in this problem, I have 9 to the power of x is equal to x to the power of 6. Now I have to find, find the value of x. So for my solution, I start with 9 to the power of x is equal to x to the power of 6. And I'm actually going to take the power of 1 over x on both sides. So now I have 9 to the power of x to the power of 1 over x is equal to x to the power of 6 to the power of 1 over x. Now if I have something in the form a to the power of m to the power of n, this is equal to a to the power of m times n. So 9 to the power of x to the power of 1 over x, that's going to equal 9 to the power of x times 1 over x. And x to the power of 6 to the power of 1 over x, that's going to equal x to the power of 6 times 1 over x. Now x times 1 over x, these two cancel out, so it's just, I'm simply left with 9, is equal to 6 times 1 over x, which is 6 over x. Now I'm going to take the power of 1 over 6 on both sides. So now I have 9 to the power of 1 over 6 is equal to x to the power of 6 over x to the power of 1 over 6. And again, this is going to equal x to the power of 6 over x times 1 over 6. These two cancel out. So now I'm left with 9 to the power of 1 over x is equal to x to the power of 1 over x. Now, 9 is the same thing as 3 squared, so I get 3 squared to the power of 1 over at 6 is equal to x to the power of 1 over x. 2 and 6, these make 3, so I get 3 to the power of 1 third is equal to x to the power of 1 over x. And notice how this is in the form x to the power of 1 over x, a number to the power of 1 over that same number is equal to x to the power of 1 over x, meaning x is simply equal to 3. So now to check, my original equation was 9 to the power of x equals x to the power of 6. So I get 9 to the power of 3 is equal to 3 to the power of 6. And 9 is the same thing as 3 squared, so I get 3 squared to the power of 3 is equal to 3 to the power of 6 which is 3 to the power of 6 is equal to 3 to the power of 6. All right, so in this problem, I have 49 to the power of x minus 42 to the power of x is equal to 36 to the power of x. So I'm going to first start by dividing every term by 49 to the power of x. So then these two cancel out, and now I get 1 minus 42 to the power of x over 49 to the power of x is equal to 36 to the power of x over 49 to the power of x. Now 42 over 49, that's the same thing as 6 over 7. And 30, 36 over 49, that's the same thing as 6 over 7 squared to the power of x. And now I can actually switch the places of 2 and x. So this is the same thing as 6 over 7 to the power of x squared. Now I'm going to let 6 over 7 to the power of x equal to the variable y. So now I have 1 minus y is equal to y squared. And this is the same thing as y squared plus y minus 1 is equal to 0. Now, you have to use a quadratic formula to actually solve this, but if you do, you end up getting that y is equal to negative 1 plus or minus the square root of 5 over 2. And now remember how we let 6 over 7 to the power of x equal y. So now I have 6 over 7 to the power of x equal negative 1 plus the square root of 5 over 2. So let's first start with this. I'm going to take the log on both sides. So now I have log of 
6 over 7 to the power of x is equal to log of negative 1 plus the square root of 5 over 2. So now I can move this x to the front and divide both sides by log 6 over 7. So now I have these two cancel out. x is equal to log of negative 1 plus the square root of 5 over 2 over log of 6 over 7. Now, we can also do the same thing with negative 1 minus the square root of 5, but it would just be the same outcome, but instead of plus, this is going to be minus. So I also have x is equal to log of negative 1 minus the square root of 5 over 2 over log 6 over 7. Alright, so in this problem, I have 99 to the power of x plus 9 is equal to 9,999 to the power of x plus 9. So to solve this, I'm going to first start by using the property of exponents that says a to the power of m plus n is equal to a to the power of m times a to the power of n. So by using this property, 99 to the power of x plus 9, that's going to equal 99 to the power of x times 99 to the power of 9. And 9,999 to the power of x plus 9, that's going to equal 9,999 to the power of x times 9,999 to the power of 9. Now I'm going to divide both sides by 99 to the power of 9 times 9,999 to the power of x. So then these two cancel out from my left hand side and these two cancel out from my right hand, right hand side. So now I have 99 to the power of x over 9,999 to the power of x is equal to 9,999 to the power of 9 over 99 to the power of 9. Now this is the same thing as 99 over 9,999 to the power of x, which is equal to 9,999 over 99 to the power of 9. And now this simplifies to 1 over 101 to the power of x is equal to 101 to the power of 9. And this is the same thing as 101 to the power of negative x is equal to 101 to the power of 9, meaning that negative x is equal to 9 and x is equal to negative 9. So now to check, I have 99 to the power of x plus 9 is equal to 9,999 to the power of x plus 9. We know that x is negative 9. So now I have 99 to the power of 0 is equal to 9,999 to the power of 0. Anything to the power of 0 is 1. So I have 1 is equal to 1. And this is right. So I know my solution is right.